All right, so let's now check out the sample loading area over here. So I've loaded in a preset, flock of fireflies. And over here, you can see the sample that is being used for this preset. I can use these arrow keys to swap out the sample with the next one in the folder. So that's a quick way to change up the sample, but keep all the settings of the preset the same. You can also open up the browser and then load in a specific sample that you want. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping it into this sample display area here. Probably the easiest way to change up a preset. Let's close out the browser. Now you can also sample in real time. So over here you can sample any audio that's coming in from Reason. With this option you can also edit the sample that's loaded in. So that loads up the Reason sample editor for some destructive editing on the sample. I'll stick with the currently loaded sample. Over here you can select which part of the sample is being used within grain. So if you click and drag like this, now the entire sample is being used. Or you can even narrow it down to a very small section. You can click here to preview the original sound. So just to verify what the original unprocessed sample sounds like. Alright, so there are a few more controls to look at in this sample section. We'll check that out in the next tutorial.